The spiral staircase is a flexible little object that does what it says, builds spiral staircases. It's a very flexible and customizable object, and you can build a staircase in no time at all. If you open up the object and click on it, you might feel overwhelmed with all the different settings, but don't be. It really is very easy to understand, and that's what this short video is all about. A staircase is roughly made out of four components. The actual stairs, the base of the rails, and finally the rails and the baluster. All of these settings can be adjusted on our user data here. So on the first field here, we change the properties of the stairs, height of a staircase, number of stairs, etc. And all the other adjustments are devoted for the base rail and how the rails and balusters will look like. Let's start playing and see what we can come up with. First of all, let's set up roughly how our staircase will look like. I would like it to be around 3 meters tall and also twist a lot. So I'm going to put here 360 degrees. It's not going to be very enjoyable to climb those stairs, but it looks cool so we're going to stick with that. Now uh, let's adjust the length of our stairs. I'm going to adjust the inner radius of the step to 50. Notice that whenever I change the stairs height, or the angle, or the stairs count, this value here also changes. What I need for a realistic height for the stairs is this value to be around 63. So as you can see here, we're way off, so let's start adjusting the stairs count to something that will be closer to reality. 18 is the magic number for that. And since I want the last step to be level with the ground of the next floor, I will also check the last step option here. Now we can either leave the stairs like that, or have these free-flowing steps, which I actually like, so let's do that. To do that we need to disable the risers, which is this nifty part here, and then we can also adjust the step height. Let's leave it somewhere around 6. Now that we have the base shape, let's modify the other parts. As I've mentioned before, this part here controls the inner and outer base rail, and these settings here control the inner and outer rails and balusters. For the moment, let's get rid of those rails and balusters, so we can concentrate more on the base of the rails. As you can see, this looks quite cool as it is, but let's see what else we have here. So we can either disable the inner and outer base rail, offset it, or even use our own object. If we like the default shape, but we want a little bit of rounding, we can adjust it here. So let's do 3. Now, if we want our own shape, once we have it ready, we can then drag it on either field and enable my own object. Let's add now some rails and balusters. I don't want any inner rails and balusters, so I'm just going to enable the outer ones. But the settings are exactly the same for both. So for the outer rails, let's drag a rail example here, and for the balusters, let's add a cube. Now of course we can modify those as well. So let's first change the shape of the balusters a little bit. Let's make it thinner. And let's make the height 125, and also give it a little bit of rounding. We're almost ready, but as you can see we need to do a few adjustments. I want the balusters to sit outside the base rail, so I'm going to move them a little bit on the X side, and a little bit on the Y. I think the number of the balusters looks good, but let's change it just so we have something different. Now for the rails, let's offset them a little bit, and adjust the height just a tiny bit. We can of course change the dimensions of the rails, or even put our own there. And what do you know, with just a few clicks we will built our own staircase. As you can see, it's a flexible tool that is very modifiable and will speed up your workflow immensely. Can't wait to see what you guys come up with. Enjoy!